want to play the yeah, other Ben see Carson how his, song? Yes, how his exploratory ing is going. Yeah, let's. <laughs> so, we've now played uh, Ben Carson's. Ben Carson's, I guess, announcement that he's forming an exploratory committee. Let's see how his nascent pre-campaign is going. On the day after you announce, what was it, two days after you announce an exploratory committee, what's the one thing that you definitely got to check off? The number one on your uh, list, like all uh, expert politicians know, you must go on national television and start saying very bizarre things about homosexuality. <laughs> of course. Do you think they have control over their sexuality? Absolutely. You think being gay is a choice? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Because a lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So did something happen while they were in there? Most Ask yourself that question. never go to prison, and well, you know there's a whole theory of I dominance. Said, wait a minute. I know. said a lot of people who go in, come out. Are you denying that that's true? I am no, not denying not. that that's true, but I am okay, denying that that's as a basis if, of understanding fact, homosexuality. If, in fact, that is the case, then it obviously thwarts what you just said. Well, all right. I'd like to bring up uh, three points. Point number one is um, the reason why Chris Cuomo didn't uh, refute that, because I don't know that there's any data on that at all. There may be, but I would imagine that, no, most being the majority, being 51 percent, I would say that's not true. That's point number one. Number two, that doesn't in any way refute the notion that people don't make a decision about who they're physically attracted to. It just may mean that they came to realize it in the context of prison. Some people go to college don't realize or don't aren't in a position to express it after they get out of college. Does that mean that you know that uh, being gay is a choice? And then number three, um, what's going on with Ben Carson? <laughs> this whole theory, okay. Now, now here is why I think in in uh, my book Fubar that we wrote years years ago, Stephen Sherrill and I, we talked about what our theory was, why there was so many. Uh, Republicans who are anti-gay gay people and there was some doctor I can't remember his name now it's in the book who uh, spoke about how being gay homosexuality was like heroin it was like chocolate like you can't you, you know you get a taste where it's almost impossible if you start doing it it's almost impossible to stop now I believe that's probably the case if you are gay. <laughs> like in the same way that if you're straight, like once you start having straight sex, if you're straight, you just keep wanting to have straight sex. Well, I think that's probably also true if you're gay. But there's a theory that people like Ben Carson have, is which you have to fight that urge. You have to fight that urge. That's what being straight is about, is fighting the sense that you're attracted to members of your own sex. Now, I don't know if Ben Carson realizes that straight people do not fight that urge. Or I should say, most straight people do not fight that urge of attraction to people of the same sex. That's what makes them straight. I imagine Ben Carson somehow got the idea that straight people just are fighting this urge to be gay. And the choice that's involved in his mind is whether or not you acknowledge that urge. I don't know. But I will, I will say this that is really clear. you got to be some type of lunatic to think that this is going to be your opening salvo of your exploratory committee. I mean, I guess it depends on what you're exploring. But uh, if you're exploring, 
a race uh, for president. This is a very strange way to begin it. I want to talk about key issues affecting our children's future, like prison makes you gay. <laughs> Founding fathers, not really so racist after all. And Barack Obama, Nazi or Islamist or both. Also, what else makes you gay besides prison? Very strange, dude. He has just apologized for those comments. He did? Just being reported what on. What did he say? Him. He said, uh, and I apologize, my computer's having trouble loading, but he basically said, he did a, you know, I'm sorry if you were offended type of line, and basically said, hey, I don't really know why people become gay. Mm. And... Uh, what was? Do you have the exact quote? Because I'm. Not, it's not loading for me right now. Look, Ben Carson came in as a smart neurosurgeon and came out like a total fucking idiot. I wonder well, how that. What, <laughs> I wonder you know what, what? I just what realized. Explains that. CPAC makes you a moron. I'm not. That, that we can prove. <laughs> <laughs>